Hey, listen, I got several videos doing this, but I'm finna do it again because this is like one of the most requested videos, right? Today, I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make, listen to this, we're gonna make fried cabbage, but we're gonna turn it up a notch and we're gonna add some shrimp. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so look, let's go ahead and just look at some of these ingredients while I go ahead and start doing a prep, right? Look, this is andouille. I just don't have no coffee. You know, that's my, my like my favorite brand. You know, it's okay, so we got andouille sausage. We got a head of cabbage, carrots. We got an array of uh, bell peppers. We got an onion. We got that seasoning. This right here doesn't. Listen, now, I can use bacon because I do use start that, but I'm gonna put this down right here for y'all right now. Tell me how many of y'all are saving your bacon grease. All right, so first thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm finna, I've already washed all my veggies and everything, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just peel my, you know, my carrots. Now I want you guys to talk to me down in the comment section below. If we did a holy trinity, right? This is a quiz. I want you to let me know if I add carrots to it, what would that be called? All right, so now I'm getting ready to cut this down. You know what I mean? Just notice how I do this. You don't have to do it like this, right? I do it like that so that my bell peppers stand up, if that's the way I like it. So I'm kind of like in the habit of doing it. You guys do it the way you want to. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it down. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my celery. Now you guys didn't see the celery in the very beginning because I kept it in the refrigerator. Sometimes when I'm filming, I leave it out so long. You know what I mean? It gets a little soft. You know what I mean? So I just like to keep it like close to as crisp as possible. All right, so notice I cut that down into three. This one I did two. I like the different textures, you know what I mean? And the different sizes. Now. I'm gonna show this part right here. Now that we getting ready to get down to the dicing and chopping, right? This would be more so as a chop, right? Okay, so now you guys get a chance to see this. I'm looking at my celery right here. I really like celery. If I was gonna dice this down a little smaller, I probably would have just used this. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself one more stalk, you know, and cut that down just to add to it, right? Now, I'm gonna take my little peeler. I'm gonna push down on this and I'm gonna get it, try to get it as deep as I can. And then this is what I want to come up with, something like this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just continue to do that. I put a little medium heat underneath the bottom. I'm going to go in here right here. And look, I'm not going to be so crucial with it. I'm using a tablespoon. We're just going to add a couple of tablespoons. It's okay if it's heaping. That's fine. Okay, so look, right off of the back, folks. Soon as that starts to melt, the aromatic that comes up off of that is just, mm. if you guys doing that pork, you want to do that, right? So look, now that I know that it's nice and hot, even having my, my wooden utensil in here, I can see it starting to sizzle like down the bottom. I'm at that medium heat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just drop in my onions. I always start with my onions first. Now, if you guys are using carrots, you know what I mean? And say you cut the carrots like into like, you know, thicker strips. Cause remember I peeled mine, did a peel slice, right? If you do one the thicker way, you want to go ahead and add your carrots next. Why? Cause they'll be a little bit thicker and you want to get those a little bit on the soft side also, right? So after I give this about a, uh, I'm gonna say after I give this about a, you know, like a one minute head start, next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come with my celery. So we just go ahead and get the celery in here. It depends on how big you chopped it. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, I could go ahead, it'd be easier for me to do it with my hand. Then for the smaller pieces, you know you can use your knife. It's really about just being efficient inside the kitchen, right? So I'm gonna give this a stir. It's not gonna take long, folks, All right? We just wanna let that heat and them flavors, that bacon flavor and everything that's inside of this, it starts to marry. And this is where we are gonna get that steam for that cabbage, folks. Okay, so it's been about one minute on the celery. Even when I push it down right here, let's see if I can get one of these to break. I could just check and see where we at, All right? So if I give it a little, a little chop right there, it's not quite ready, but that's fine. You at least wanna be able to get through it. This will break in just one second, right? So it's two minutes on the onion, about one minute on the celery, and now I add the rest of my vegetables. Minus, let me I should, let me be spe specific, minus my carrot, because I'm gonna add my carrot, and then I'm gonna add my garlic last. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this andouille, right? So I'm gonna cut it here, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting it, you know, into slices like this. Now you guys can add as much as you would like to it. It depends on, you know, 
for one, it, the more you add, the more it just bleeds from the heat and release, releases that, you know, andouille, you know, flavor into this. This makes this a keto uh, person's dream recipe right here. All right, so once you got them cut, however you want to cut them, look, go ahead and just drop them in also. Now, I know that, in, you know, we didn't already read the title. I showed you in the beginning that we doing shrimp, right? I don't season my shrimp because I love the flavor profile that this is going to give me. And I don't want to like overpower it, right? So I don't want to have that in there. I just want to taste all of this along with the, listen to this, along with the shrimp. So that's why I don't do it. But some of you guys are looking like, hey, he didn't season it. That's going to be why. But look at this right here. See how it's all starting to sweat. Everything is nice and moist. We got infused olive oil in here. Even if you guys got regular uh, virgin olive oil, that works too. You know what I mean? Uh, but this right here does it. Now, let's talk about this seasoning. I'm gonna probably only add about two tablespoons of seasoning to this, right? You guys know that I love using Creole Kick. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this right here. Just wanna put about a tablespoon or a little bit of that in there, like about that much, right? Inside. Now, let me get my salt. I'm bringing salt to the game to help sweat it, all right? Just give it a couple of pinches. That's all it needs, right? And don't forget, Creole Kick is low in sodium, folks. This is just to wake it up, and it serves another purpose. Again, like I just said, it helps with that, you know, the sweating of the veggies, right? Look at that right there. You get in there. Come on, get in here and look at that. Talk to me. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add this garlic. Right? Those of you guys been following me for a minute know that I don't have to have the camera on me. Trust me, folks, I'm smiling. I'm thinking about all of the years my granny had me mincing garlic when I could have just got myself a tool like this and did it. So, look at that right there. Oh, yeah. Then I put this right here on the top. We don't have to worry about it burning. All right? We just want that flavor. That over here. Now we just go ahead and move this around and let that marry right now i'm gonna show you guys the gym for doing you know fried cabbage right or any fried vegetable vegetable when you put a lot of ingredients in there how it turns into flavor look at this right here i'm gonna move that you see that right there okay so now we gotta go ahead and cut this down don't forget we got carrots and then we got our shrimp right here right remember no seasoning trust me folks just like this because we don't want to overcook it now I'm gonna take this and we're gonna go ahead and cut this down. This already has been washed and clean, but I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna leave that on there. Sometimes I cut this in half and I cut that out. You know what I mean? Uh, There's no real right way or wrong way to do this. It's up to you how you wanna get them. I think I'm gonna cut it in half this way. Though. Right, so I got it like that. You know, I could, I could have cut it down this way. Well, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You cut it down this way. Some people take it and cut like a little, you know, like this and they cut that part out, right? That's that bottom piece, that root, that's what connected to the ground. I know you guys can hear in the background, I'm stirring right now, ooh, my goodness. And then you just cut it down however you wanna do it, right? However you wanna, you know, make it. <clears throat> you can cut them down. There, like I said, there is no right or wrong way. Everybody has a different way that they wanna do it. Don't forget, this is like greens. This is nothing but a, a wet, leafy veg vegetable. You know what I mean? So when I put it in there, all this is gonna, you know, sweat down, right? So let's look. We wanna make sure we don't have any more of those, you know, black pieces on there, like this right here. I'll take it, again, I cut it, a little diamond out like that, and just get rid of this piece right here. Okay, so your veggies should be just about right. I know everybody wants to have a time, but the trip part about the time is, my medium is not gonna be your medium. I done been through that before. I done told people like medium low, low heat, and everybody seems to come up with something different, right? So if you look right here inside, look at these veg veggies. You could just see them, they're still holding their color. So that should about tell you about where they're at. But I'm gonna say total, this has probably only been going for about, maybe about five minutes, just to get everything a little bit on the soft side, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my cabbage that I put in that you saw me just cut, and I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna cut down the rest, but the key is you're gonna wanna have a you, if you ask me, I'm gonna say to do it properly, you wanna have a pot that has a lid on it. Obviously, I'm using a Dutch oven. I know that's gonna, you know, give me my steam. Right now, I'm just putting this in here. This will get a little bit of a head start, you know? We'll let it steam in just one second. Okay, so after I get this mixed up pretty good, I like what I'm seeing right now. 
Only thing I gotta do now is add my carriage, right? After I add my carrots, I'm gonna hit it with the rest of my seasoning. We're gonna give it a mix. And the only thing we have left is what? That's that shrimp, folks. We add that last. You guys know shrimp don't take long to cook. We don't want it to be, you know, rubbery or hard. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna add that in. Right when I say these are ready, that's when I'm gonna do it. Key is now, getting it all mixed up, right? You wanna get that seasoning everywhere. And you want to make sure that you can uh, put that lid on. Got to have that lid because we're going to need to create that steam. Right now, you guys not seeing a whole lot because I got the, you know, the pot wide open. Got it all mixed. Put the top on so we can generate some steam in the inside. And then I'll check it probably in about like 10 minutes. See where we at. If it's like the way I want it to be, you guys got to cook it to your desire. You know, softness and tenderness, right? But for me, I like mine a certain way. So I say about 10 minutes, I'm going to check it. If it's close, that's when I add my shrimp. Mix it all up, go about three minutes, turn it off, let it steam the other two minutes because you're only going to need about five minutes just with your steam to do these right there. Make sure you mix them up so they can get the flavor. Listen, I'm not going to over talk it. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Okay, you guys don't see no steam right now because I just opened it up, but look, we got to get to it. That right there, look at that. That is perfect. If I take this like this, I just tasted it just to see if I need to make an adjustment on my seasoning. I got it just right, folks. Now, this right here is... Mm, I don't even know what to say. Now, I'm just gonna tell you this. Now I'm gonna let it just go two more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add, you know, my shrimp, right? I've already, you know, deveined and peeled them, right? And even took the tails off, right? There you go, you guys can see them. Look at the color of them now. After five minutes, they're gonna be right. I let them go with a little bit of steam and I do my mixture now, you know what I mean? Because I want this to take the flavor profile of the uh, cabbage, right? And everything that we did to get them like that. As I stir them, you can just kind of like look at them. They'll start to tighten up, right? And then they start changing colors. But I do it like this. I'm finna set a timer just for three minutes, folks. Put this top on here. Three minutes, I'll see you. Okay, so as you guys can hear, look, my alarm went off. That was my three minute, right? Before I even open that up, I'm gonna turn off my fire. Right, no fire, I'm gonna leave this on top, just like it, you know, my top on, because I wanted to continue to steam. Now I'm finna set another timer. Hey Google, set a timer for two minutes. Okay, so two minutes is over with. We take this off the top right here. Let me get bring this close to you so you guys can see it. I want you to get it inside of here. You see that right there? Look, I sprinkled a little black pepper over the top. Oh yeah, nice steel, soft, cooked. There you go. All I gotta do is just give it a little and then if you look at the, look at the liquid, that right there, ooh wee, only thing missing right now that you guys don't see, what is that? Talk to me, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm gonna tell you though anyway, only thing missing is the cornbread muffins. Okay folks, now that I got this in here, you know what, only thing left to do is go ahead and get me a bite. I'm not gonna fake the funk or nothing like that, I done already got me a bite. Matter of fact, I done got several bites. Right? I don't know if you guys can see. If you come in here, this the texture that I like. Still have some integrity. When I bite down on it, I can still taste it. It had it had a little leafy taste to it. You know what I mean? Uh, just everything about this is just all good. Hey, with that being said, no over talking. It's all about that eating, folks. Cheers. This right here, folks. A lot of you guys have had this already, but those of you guys that don't know, this is the meal right here. And you know what? I probably should have led with this too. It is so inexpensive. You know what I mean? Uh, and if you don't like shrimp, you don't have to add it. But listen, it adds just another notch to put the cherry on top. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Oh yeah, and tell him he making fire recipes like this. Guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.